Yo, what's going on out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another video and I'm showing you two different glitches. We're going to be going over the brand new way to do the solo money glitch with the facility as well as the new method for gift cards to friends after all the recent patches that just came yesterday. Okay guys? So... The solo money glitch is going to be the first half of the video, and then I think six or seven minutes in, I'm not sure when, but that's when the gift cards to friends uh, part of the video will be. So, you got two glitches in this video, alright? Um, so, the solo money glitch, of course, I will go over the founders right now. We have, first starting off, Freight Train with the Fudge, Killer Gaming, Celestial Gaming, Lost Glitches, and Tuta Facile France. Now, what you're going to need for this glitch is you're going to need the facility full of RH8s or Fagios. Along with that, you do want an MOC with the personal vehicle storage, and I would recommend putting a Fagio in there as well. Okay? Apart from that, you're going to need to be, I'd say, in free aim, especially on Xbox, because we're going to need to join a friend in a, diff in a different targeting mode. You're not actually fully joining him, you're just using him for the alerts. So, like I said, still solo. You are just using them for the alerts. If you need friends, go into a public session and just keep adding people until they add you back. And then go into a different targeting mode. All right? So, like I said, throw yourself in a free aim session or in an invite only session and either free aim or uh, assisted aim. Just opposite of a friend that you're going to be joining. Okay? So, uh, PlayStation, you guys are just using a recent activity. Nice and easy for you guys. You just ex you just join the, the start GTA Online with a recent activity and then press circle on the alert. Nice and easy. Now, apart from that, you will need some Molotov cocktails for this version. This is the easier version, so I recommend this one. You need an MC Clubhouse so that you can sign in, and a custom plate on your Benny's vehicle, you know, the one that you're going to be duping, okay? So, a good amount of requirements, but it is fairly simple to do, guys. So, as you can see right here, I parked my MOC by my facility to where I still have the blue circle. You still want to have that blue circle so that you can easily just go in there, uh, if it's too close to the yellow circle, I do believe that it disappears or if it's not on, you know, on even ground, it might disappear as well. So keep that in mind. Now you can either have a Fagio in here or a Sanchez. It's totally up to you. Uh, I probably should have used a Sanchez because my facility is, you know, a top of a super like steep hill. So I just had to kind of go around here. So this is why I fast forwarded this part of the video for you guys. Anyways, I'm going to get over here. Remember, I have a full facility. I got some RHAs or Fagios in there that I'm willing to overwrite. So go up to it and get the facility full alert. All right, now that we got the facility full alert, you're just going to want to open up your PlayStation or Xbox dashboard for a couple seconds, close it, and now the alert will go away. Now drive straight to your MOC, and you will get sucked in and get on an infinite black loading screen very, very easily, just like that. So on this infinite black loading screen, Xbox, we need to join a friend in a different targeting mode, accept the first alert, and decline the second alert. PlayStation, you guys can do that, or you can just go to one of your friends or your own profile, go to a recent activity, hit start GTA online, and when you get back to GTA and that alert comes up, just deny the alert. So just press circle on that alert. But Xbox, we don't have that luxury, so what we have to do on Xbox is go over to a friend. I just found a friend that I pretty much knew would be in assisted aim, and I was in free aim. So I'm just going to go ahead and join that friend right now, and I'm going to get the alert right away. I'm going to accept this first alert, and then I'm going to decline this second alert right here. Now, if done correctly, you should just spawn right back just like this. So this is the part now where we need the Molotov cocktails, all right? The Molotovs, if you guys don't have ammo for those, just uh, call it Merryweather and get an ammo crate. It doesn't matter for what weapon, and they will give you Molotovs as well. So that's the easy way to get Molotovs. I think there's other ways, but I'm not sure. Anyways, go ahead and pull out your Molotov cocktails, and then you want to go ahead and throw about three of them right there at the edge of the facility, okay? You want to just catch that whole area on fire. So just toss three of them. Two or three will do. Now, go ahead and just drive up to there, and you will get the alert. You're going to be sitting on this alert right here for two seconds, all right? Two to three seconds at most. Accept it, and then it's going to kick you off the bike, and then go ahead and kill yourself. You can either let the fire do the work, or you could drop a grenade, all right? Right here, I did both, but the fire ended up getting me right before the grenade did. Either way, you just want to take the easy way out. Once, well, not take the easy way out. You just want to commit suicide right there. Uh, once you've done that, you will spawn back, and you are actually ready to do your dupe glitch, all right? You are glitched out to bring in any vehicle into your facility, okay? You can use that, actually, as a gift card to friends as well, if you really would like to do it that way. Totally up to you. Uh, but 
yeah, this is how you do the solo money glitch now, okay? So, I guess you can call it semi-solo on Xbox, solo on PlayStation. It's, you know, it's up to you to decide, really. I think it's still solo because your friend has no idea that you're using him this time, okay? We're not joining him or anything like that. Alright, so now, I went ahead and I called up my Benny's vehicle that I want to dupe. This needs a custom plate on it, guys. Remember, duplicate Benny's vehicles only. Stop duplicating supercars and sports cars, alright? You guys are driving me nuts. Benny's vehicles. There's a reason we do that. You guys are going to get errors if you try to, uh, you know, dupe other vehicles, okay? So, right here I got my LG Retro Custom with a custom plate on it. I am signed in as an MC President. You want to drive up to an area that's going to let you teleport into the car, meaning you want to block off the driver's side door and the passenger side door. You can park up next to a building and park your MOC cab on the other side of it, totally up to you, or you can find a, a spot like this to wedge your car in. And you see, I can teleport by pressing Y or triangle in and out of the car. Now, sign in as a Motorcycle Club President, hover over return vehicle to storage, hit A and Y at the same exact time. Boom, just like that. PlayStation, you guys are hitting X and Triangle at the same exact time. If done correctly, you can check your motorcycle club and it'll say return vehicle to storage. You're good. Do not get out of your car or it will disappear. Your original car went back to the garage you got it from. This car is an actual duplicate, but we need to save it, okay? So you should get the alert when you drive up to it. Go ahead and accept it and there you go. Remember, this car was called from a different garage, not from the facility, not from the MOC, nothing like that, okay? Has to be from a different garage. All right, and now we will end up on the vehicle selection menu. I have a few Sanchez's in there. You can use RH8s or Fagios, doesn't really matter. You just need a vehicle to overwrite, and there you go. I have my brand new dupe. It is a fresh, clean duplicate because it had a custom plate on it to start off with, all right? So now, this vehicle cannot be driven out because if you drive it out, it's bricked and it'll just kick you out. What I recommend doing is just fill up your whole facility and then go ahead and order up seven Sanchez's or Fagios or RH8s from another garage or to another garage and just swap them all out. And then you can keep going, okay? So now, onto the gift cars to friends glitch, all right? And remember, you, you, you can drive the cars once you either restart app, which I don't recommend, just switch characters. Go to your second character, and then go back to your first character, and then you can drive those cars again. So now for the second uh, part of the video, we got the new gift cars to friends method. Big shout out to Lost Glitches for figuring this out, and to Facile France for the original method. Now for this method, what you're going to need is a full facility, just like the other one with uh, RHAs or Fagios, doesn't really matter. You need the MOC with the personal vehicle storage, and it needs to be empty. This must be empty for this to work, okay? So nothing in your personal vehicle storage in the MOC. I recommend a heavy bike. I'm going to be using the Sovereign in this video, so a heavy bike and have it in the clubhouse or just a different garage, not the facility or the MOC. You need one friend to help you. Obviously, your friend needs to have a Benny's vehicle or, you know, a modded vehicle to give you, and he's also going to be pushing you, okay? Make sure if you're using this as a, as a money glitch, which I don't really recommend, that vehicle needs to have a custom plate on it, and then you need your own custom plates to change, or, you know, you guys need to have the same custom plate, basically, all right, to give back and forth. But my friend's going to be giving me an LG Retro Custom, and uh, yeah, let's get started with this glitch, okay? So, I have my heavy bike here, my MOC is empty, my facility is full of cars that I want to dupe over, and my friend is waiting there with the car that he is giving me. Okay, so now, I'm going to go ahead with my heavy bike that's from the clubhouse and drive up to there. Now, I got the volume on. My friend right now is just pushing me, alright? He's just pushing me to my MOC. This is why we recommend a heavy bike, because on a heavy bike, your friend, you know, has less, it's less likely for your friend to actually knock you off the bike. If you get knocked off the bike, you got to get back on, you know, deny the alert, get back on and try this again. Okay, so I'm just being pushed, continuously pushed, and then eventually you're going to hear it just go silent. Once it goes completely silent, that means you're right in front of the MOC, so check it out. So you hear that? Completely silent. I'm in front of the MOC. What you want to do now is hit A or X and then spam right tri or spam right on the D-pad, all right? So A or X and spam right D-pad. If done correctly, you will sp you will go into an infinite black loading screen. Now, boom, you heard that? Tell your friend to kill you, okay? You're you're just going to be standing uh, right behind your MOC. Your friend's going to see that. He's just got to pop you in the head and that's it, okay? So now, once you've done that, you will spawn back on foot just like this. Okay, run back over to your friend's vehicle that he is giving you. And then you can go ahead and just hop in it and drive into your facility. Just like that. That's the new workaround for the gift cards to friends. So, yeah, it does take a little bit longer to do. You know, I'm not going to lie. But it still works and it's still fairly simple. Okay? You just need one friend to help you out with this. And all he's got to do is have the car waiting for you that he would normally give you. And he's just got to push you. Okay? That's all he's got to do. He's just got to push you. 
and uh, then you can go in with that car. I'm going to override a Sanchez that I got in here, and it's as simple as that. That's it. All right, guys? So remember, now the vehicles that are in here that I got from either the Solo Money Glitch, which is that yellow one, or the Gift Cards to Friends Glitch, which is this blue one, they're both clean duplicates. I, they both have my plate on it that I have in my iFruit, so I have, I have no issues with dirty custom plates or anything like that or dirty dupes. These are brand new clean plates that are fully sellable cars. Now I'm just going to show you what happens when you drive out of your facility with any of these cars. All right, When you drive out, they will be bricked. Just like this, they'll kick you out. Swap characters. Go to your second character, then go back to your first character. You will be able to drive the cars again. All right? So that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Two glitches in one on this one. Take advantage of these while they are still, you know, good and working. Uh, you know, make sure to subscribe to the Roll Easy channel if you're brand new. You know, turn post notifications on. Drop a fat like on this video for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 15,000 subscribers. Actually, we made it to 15,000. Yeah, shout out to you guys. 15,000 subs. New road goal coming up next. Peace.